Hello guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share a technique that I'm using to solve difficult puzzles. And I promise you, some of the puzzles are really, really difficult. So I learned this technique when I was a little kid and ever since I'm trying to use it, sometimes I'm forgetting it, but whenever there is some difficult moment and I can really progress in the puzzle, then this technique just pops up in my mind and it really helps me. And the technique that I'm talking about is that we're going to the basic lines with the checks and the tries and the captures. And if this line is not working, we're taking one move back and looking for another candidate moves. And then still we can't find anything. We're taking another move back. So this might sound a little bit complicated. It is not complicated at all. Let's put this into the practice. So here we have the position. First thing what I do always is that I'm calculating the pieces. Who has more material? In this position, black has a queen. We have rook and the bishop, which means that we are not in a good situation. And this gives us a hint that we have to now either checkmate black's king or get the queen. Otherwise, black's queen will start to give us some checks. And this is really unpleasant position to play. It's just, it's just losing. Another thing what I do during the solving puzzle is I'm learning the position of the opponent's king. How weak is this king? Black's king here is pretty weak. It's under some checks. So this is going to be our target too. And the third step is to find a target. The king on f5 is obviously our target. Next step is to find out the candidate moves. So here we have a golden rule. And this is we're looking for checks, captures, and threats. Here in this position, we have two checks, e4 and rook to f2. So after rook f2, if king goes on g6, then we're going to get the queen. And this is winning endgame. So whenever I see that there is a winning line, I do like that and I know that rook f2 is the move that I'm looking for. However, I still need to calculate what happens after e4 because this is also a check and maybe this check is actually better. After e4, king goes on e5 and there is another check. King takes this pawn as well and we are slowly getting out of the checks. So it means that e4 is not the move that we're going to spend any more second for. We are going to focus fully on rook to f2. Well, we said that king g6 is not working because this is just simply winning position with extra bishop. So it means that king has to go on e5. Now this king is quite limited. Can it go on this square? Uh, can it go also on central square? A file is also cut it. So we need to give another check. And here we have d pawn coming into the action. Now king can go on the d5. And at this point, we have several checks. We have e4, we have bishop to a2 and rook to f5. So after e4, king takes this pawn and their pawn is also hanging and black king will hide on e7 square. So it's not working. How about bishop to a2? In this case, black can play either king here or king here and this is not the solution we're looking for. How about rook to f5? We're giving up this rook, but the pawn is on the way to get this queen. So after pawn takes the rook, we have bishop a2 and we're winning this end game. So this sounds really good and promising to us. So after rook to f5, can black play something else? Black actually can play king to c6 here in this position. And after bishop to e4, just runs away and there is no more check. Rook is hanging and black will get into the game with a check or with some serious threats. So we're now taking one move back. Bishop to e4, we don't have any more check because after d5, either this pawn will be captured or this pawn can be captured as well. So another move has to be taken back, rook to f5, and we said that e4 is not working and bishop a2 is not working. So we have to take another move back, and this is d4. So now if we take d4 move back, then what else we can play? There is more check. There is more check. This is rook to f5. This is really, really strange move because this rook is hanging two ways. King can take and pawn can take. And now the most important is not to give up too early and still finalize the line. So for instance, if king takes the rook, now we play d4 and this is a checkmate. And guys, remember that if there is a checkmate in one of the lines, this is the correct solution for us. So we're coming back now and instead of king to f5, let's check out what happens if pawn takes. Now we can play d4 and force this king to go on these light squares where we can simply play bishop a2 
and win this queen and this is absolutely winning end game as white's king will get on f4 attack the pawn on f5 and start to collect all these pawns all you need to do is to grab all the black pawns or to keep one of these three pawns on the board alive because you need to promote those pawns to the queen not those pawns just one pawn you don't need to promote three pawns you just need one pawn to be promoted to queen because only bishop can't really win the game so this is the solution and this is the technique that i'm using for these kind of puzzles i'm gonna add more video in the next week i think it will be also quite difficult puzzle and i'm gonna use the same technique as this one so i hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next video